It is 30 degrees Celsius. I looked it up. That's about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's April. It is outrageously hot. In fact, it's dangerously hot for this time of year. And I don't mean for humans, I mean for plants. But everything that I'm sitting in the midst of here are coming out from being inside over the winter. Some of these are tropical, like the pineapples, and somewhat tropical, like the figs that actually already have fruit on them. But the one that I want to focus on is this kumquat. This was a seed 13 months ago. And now look at it. Might be sticking out the top of the shot, actually, when I straighten it up. I have to prune that. But before I do, I want to talk a little bit about a Zen aspect of what I'm about to do and how it applies to all of humanity. The reason that I'm going to be pruning this kumquat is because I want to grow it inside the house and I want it to bear fruit. And as it is now, already being about five feet tall, it doesn't have any reason that it understands, pardon my interpretation of tree knowledge, to, to branch out. It wants to just keep going up. The reason it's droopy is because it hasn't... This is the first time that it's experienced wind. It has not experienced wind before. And so it doesn't have strength. Getting battered by the wind builds up the fibers in the trunk of a tree or any plant so that they become stronger. But that's not the reason that I'm going to be pruning it. I should have brought some sunglasses. My goodness. The reason I'm going to prune it is because I want to encourage it to send out branches down below so that I will be able to prune it to the appropriate shape that I want inside the house so that it will be producing fruit and not going way up high, so I'm going to need a ladder to pick the fruit. Now, what does that have to do with humanity, you may be asking? This is analogous to our situation, especially now, in the midst of the new rise of totalitarianism where when one is not aware of their limitations and not just their as in their own but the limitations of the environment and the situation that they are in so that humanity, just as this kumquat tree, has grown straight up, trying to do as much as quickly as possible, and not taking into account the cost of doing that, 
of relentlessly driving upward. <laughs> there is so much more that I could elaborate upon. But I don't feel like it. Partly because it's so hot, I'm sweating. But also because I think that anyone who's watching these videos on this channel doesn't need to be spoon-fed. You understand what I'm talking about. Back to the tree aspect of it. After the top has been cut, the tree has no choice but to reallocate its energies and optimize for that newly imposed restriction on its upward growth. And so, do you see how that applies to us as a society and as a species? Back to the tree, there's a specific spot where I'm going to be pruning it. The tree has already started to produce the beginnings of bark in the lower part of the stem. Up at the top, it's green and very supple. But down here, it's getting woody because it's making the bark. And so I am going to cut it at the transition between the woody part and the supple part. Here are the shears. Here's the spot. And it is done. That was very difficult, wasn't it? Now, I actually could have done this last fall before I brought it back into the house because it's going to spend the whole summer outside. But there's a reason that I waited until now. And that is, while it was in the house, in a nice sunny window over the winter, I wanted it to gather as much of the sun's energy as possible. And so look at all of these leaves that it drew upon to help it grow. Not just, and this is a beautiful Zen point that just arrived at me, the energy that this part was gathering, the upper part, if you will, the energy that it was gathering was not just to fuel the upward growth of the canopy. That energy was sent down into the base as well to help to create more roots. And so that underground growth that was fueled by this would not have happened otherwise. And so the root system on this tree would not have grown as much as it did. And so the tree has a head start now on continuing to grow. It's going to grow these lower branches, such as this first one that has already begun. This actually began right at the beginning of the tree's growth. And as you can see, it grew very slowly in comparison to the rest of the tree, because this actually began at the same time as the entire tree. So the top part of the tree 
grew five feet and this little offshoot had only grown about one foot. But nevertheless, now that that root system has expanded because of this extra energy that the top part gave, more branches are going to grow very quickly. The whole tree is going to grow more quickly than it would have if I had pruned this last fall. And my hope is that by this fall, I'm going to be enjoying kumquats from this tree. Not bad for its second season. And I think that that idea of the utilization of energies throughout the whole system, not just local, but global, if you will, is the, the message that is lost on almost all of humanity today. We've become so fragmented and everyone is in their little tribes, if you will, political factions would be more accurate. And it seems that everyone has taken to, I don't like to use this word, hate each other. Hate seems to be the predominant characteristic of humanity today. Which is part of the reason why I feel most comfortable surrounded by plants, especially trees and the lovely fruit that they produce. A cloud is rolling in to give a little bit of beautiful cooling shade of sorts. It's very thin and wispy, but I'll take it. I'm wearing my Costa Rica shirt because it's as hot as Costa Rica today, I'll tell you. But I'm going to get back to work now. I've got some gardening to do. This is a happy moment. I'm looking forward to kumquats in the near future. Be well.